following the exercise, I met with all of the exercise evaluators and discussed the observations at each of the exercise locations. 20 evaluators observed and evaluated 86 criteria at 12 locations during the exercise. The exercise criteria we evaluated provide a detailed review of off-site emergency response capabilities over six broad areas. I'm going to talk a little bit about the first year. Emergency operations management. We look at how the emergency response was managed. Did people have clear direction? Did they follow procedures? And did they have the necessary tools to do the job? Protective action decision making. Were decisions on evacuation or sheltering made correctly and in a timely manner? Protective action implementation. Were actions to protect the public put into action? Technical evaluation of protective action recommendations. Were the protective action recommendations technically correct? Emergency notification and public information. Was the public informed that an emergency existed and were they provided public information in a timely and accurate manner? Support operations facilities. In this criteria, we look at monitoring and decontamination centers for the public, shelters, and medical response. We do not classify any problems identified during the exercise until we are able to return to our office and review all of the exercise material and written reports submitted by the evaluation team. When it is clear that the evaluation has identified an issue, we classify the issue according to its severity and type. Issues can be classified in three ways. Deficiency. This is the most severe classification. Deficiencies have to be corrected within 120 days of the exercise. Area requiring corrective action or ARCA. This is a minor finding that should be corrected during the next regularly scheduled exercise. Plan issue. This is not a performance issue, but a problem with the emergency floor plan that requires correction. The correction normally involves making changes to the plan and submitting those changes to FEMA for review. Based on our preliminary meeting with the evaluators, we have some exercise performance areas of concern that we are investigating. The first deals with the sequence of issuing the EAS message and the sounding of sirens. The sounding of sirens should occur prior to issuing the EAS message. Hood County did not follow the correct sequence procedures. The second deals with range of reading labeling on laboratory instruments. The instruments at the mobile laboratory were not labeled properly. If any of these items rise to the level of an issue, they will be classified and the state will be notified. Any issues identified will be included in the final exercise report. Thank you.